All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic as usual, man. And uh, today we're reacting to a Deji video. So without further ado, if you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, drop a like right now, man. And let's jump straight into it and let's see what my boy Floyd Mayweather Deji's got for me. <laughs> Floyd Deji, Black Eye. How are you? Shut up. Are you Shut up. Watch the video, <laughs> all right? Relax. <laughs> Come on. Jeez, look at this. Yeah. Oh. No. Cause the nigga super heavyweight, like god damn, man. His, his arms, man, it's been pumping, man. Careful not to pump too much. You wanna, you don't wanna become like an Anthony Joshua type where the muscles cause fatigue. Anyway, you know, <laughs> I haven't actually looked at Reddit in a while. I, I think the last time I looked at Reddit was like three months ago or something. I don't even know. I go on it. I've got sixty-four thousand members. I don't know how. And fifteen online. Hey, shout out to that fifteen. Yo, tell me who you are. I'll give you twenty grand. Oh, <laughs> tell me it's you. Yeah. 20 grand. I right, got you. Anyway, we out here, ready in that. I don't even know where to start with this. Deji always wins both inside and outside the ring. No L's. Look at that, bro. 21,000 monthly listeners. And man don't even release music. And, and then we got Fuzi with 2,000. You know what? Look at this, yo. If this video gets 30k likes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a song, bro. I'm dead ass. A proper song. I'm not, Wait, I'm not capping, 100%. One year ago today, Deji becomes 3-0. and Big up, W. Look, shut up, all right? Don't piss me off. I like sarcasm. Wait, is that what you love? God damn, bro. It needs to get a rematch this nigga. Look how lanky he is, bro. Go to the body, bro. Finish to the body. All right? I was only 3 <laughs> <laughs> no, but I appreciate you, thank you. Who's that guy, bro? I don't, I don't know who that is. I'm going to miss this house. Oh, what do you mean? I'm literally eating it right now. <laughs> that's funny, though. But Shit, this thing has given away his address. I mean, I, I, I can't what you mean. I'm, obviously, I'm a homebody. I love my parents to bits, so I'm, I'm going to be spending time with my family, 100%. But I have moved in on my own now, and I'm going to be moving again. Me and Deji. Hey, sh shout out to you. I remember that. Uh, that was a uh, first press conference in Las Vegas. Remember this concept? I added two alt styles to it because you lot asked for it. Yo, you know what? Oh, this wow. is kind of hard though. Oh my days. I actually might rock. I might do this, you know? I might do this. You know what? My next fight, I'm going to rock it. I'm going to do that. Then that's, I'm doing this. Alex Wasabi, 7,000, and then me, 21,000. Bro, I don't even release music. And we stay winning. How did you feel when Deji moved out? Must have been a bit emotional. What? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm <laughs> Deji sizing off his next opponent. Wait. I can't lie. I actually smashed it. Is that Deontay, the bronze barman Wilder? The hardest punching heavyweight champion in the history of the sport. Deontay Wilder. I saw him. I sized him up a little bit. <laughs> you know what? I'm really calling out Deontay Wilder. Right, he'll knock you out with a jab, man. Hey, man. I've said this to everyone I told him. He's actually a really nice guy. I can wholeheartedly say that he's not fake. I've met him in Dubai when there's no cameras, nothing, and he's just real. You know what I mean? I have much respect for him. I'm actually excited for the rematch between Jake Paul and Tommy. I honestly don't know who's going to win. It's Nah, yeah, it's obvious, man. Jake is going gonna to lose again, man, because Tommy is just too much experience, man. It's like, it's like Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Just... The experience gap is too much. Jake Paul's only been doing this for three years. Tommy probably for like a decade now. It's really up to if Tommy can apply himself and like can learn from his mistakes. Same with Jake. If they both can learn from their mistakes, it's going to be a very equal fight. It's actually going to be a really good fight. I can't lie. In Dubai, I was telling Tommy that he could beat Jake and I knew it. I said it was a draw, but that's because when you're ringside, it looks so different. When I watched it back, Tommy dominated. I didn't realize how many punches Tommy actually threw. Fair play to Jake, though, because Jake. Yeah, had Tommy, like, he, out, he, like, the volume, man. He freaking learned, he threw twice as much, bro. You know, if you throw more punches and you land more punches, you're gonna win. You almost double landed to Jake in the whole fight. Jake was not letting his hands go. You know, he was looking for power shots where Tommy was letting his hands go. Like, Joe Kawzagi, man. If you know what Joe Kawzagi is, bro, that guy just used to, like, that guy was undefeated, man. I think he was like 48 and all in his career. And I've just seen a couple of his highlights, bro. And the, the way he used to win was like he used to strafe the body, man. Like he used to throw like six, seven punch combinations to the body in like two seconds, three seconds, you know. Like, <laughs> like he was so good, man. Like his combinations were so quick, man. You know, you should, you should watch him right now. After this video, go watch some Joe Kawasaki highlights, bro. 
That guy is amazing. I, I'm, re- I'm realistically, I'm impressed with both of them. They're actually levels. Hydration beverage coming soon. You know it. So you know JJ, JJ and Logan, they got prime. We're going to call us second chance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> second chance. I got a better one. What about last stand, bro? <laughs> so I've seen this documentary, The Rise for the Redemption of Digital Liturgy. People have been telling me to watch it. I really do want to watch it. I'll watch, I'll watch this, but not now. I want to like probably sit down and watch this because people were telling me it's sick. And if you guys haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. The Rise for the Redemption of Deji Olatunji. Tag team fan made poster. I can't Ooh. lie. This will be hard. Fully would be hard. And I'm fu- Dog, Deji, you would get KSI knocked out, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake will come in and just throw one on my hand and you run a canvas. Really down to do this too. I reckon I could knock Logan out. What the fuck? What is this? Bro, this guy is a clown, bro. You know what? You reckon you can knock Logan out? Yes, I could never know it, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't clown. feel to sit behind Deontay Wilder. He's a lovely guy. I met him in the hotel. Out of all the people I met, his aura was the nicest. It was a good aura. Honestly, very, very... What are we having a demonic good aura? <laughs> He's a lovely guy. Mad respect. Wait, I'm going to hell for this one. The disabled kid tried to tell the school... Wait, the disabled kid tried to tell the school... Wait, the disabled kid tried to tell the school the quiet kid is pulling out a AK for the... That that English is just mad. I'm sorry. (laughs) Bro, that whole thing is fucking frustrating me, bro. He's trying to read it, man. You know what I'm saying? He had to read it like three, four times over again. Let me read it. The disabled kid trying to tell the school... The quiet kid is pulling out. So like it. You should put a comma there. Fucking hell, man. Because if you read that, it doesn't make sense if you read it quickly. You should put commas, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the disabled kid trying to tell the school, comma, the quiet kid is pulling out an AK-47. Get that meme. I've seen, I've seen this meme too many times, all right? Every time I go on TikTok, I see this meme. And I don't remember where this video is from. Shit, that shit is shining, man. <laughs> tasting KSI, I'm moving mad. Hey, what's wrong with tasting your own family? <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? The way you say it, man. Hey, babes, I'm here for your sweet and juicy ass DG. Wait, is that Tristan Tay? I can't lie. My, my ass is juicy. And I've been told by a lot of girls that I have a juicy ass. I'm a juicy c- Oh no, I just see what? <laughs> Whatever happened to these guys? I well Ben, he's just gone to Spain and then Sunwalk I don't even know. I don't know where these guys are. Well I know where Ben is, but I don't know where Sunwalk is. The man ain't even contacted me. I need an explanation for this Deji. The guy look like a guy on death row, man. Look, first of all, I don't use lotion to do the business. No one uses lotion. If you use lotion, you're psychotic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your hand will just slip off every time. It's <laughs> weird. Like, you can't get a proper grip. Unless you want to last. If you want a longer business time, everyone goes dry. Wait, did you? <laughs> I ain't do that shit, man. I don't know what a nigga's talking about, about, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys, today we're talking to the two greatest boxers in history. KSI and DG. Sue, guys, what's y'all think of Andrew Tate? I love Andrew Tate. Bro, chill. We can't reveal our sexual relationship with the Tate, brother. Bro, I don't give a f- Bro, what? If I see him, it's on side. I swear on my mama and on DG boxing career. He doesn't even sound like JJ and doesn't sound like me. I will turn into a booty warrior and send him back to Romania. Hey, yo, KSI, chill. And don't think I forgot about his brother. I want to f*** his fine-ass brother. Boy, I will f*** him so hard. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, nigga's got time, Yeah, man. No, I saw this on Twitter. I, I responded to this on Twitter. <laughs> I, I don't I don't, know, look, I don't even know why this guy asked this. Yo, does old man Jide still satisfy you? And my mum says all the time, baby, and that's why I'm still married to him, thank God. Like, uh, well, that's my Reddit. Go follow my Reddit page if you want me to do more Reddit so you can post more Reddits because that's pretty much all that's good on Reddit. Well, my Reddit anyway. Hope you enjoyed. Yes, Smack a like. Did. I will drop a like. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Drop a like if you're brand new. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's all love, man. I love you all. Peace.